Hello, Blue Toad. Are you ready to cover Blizzard Man from Mega Man 6? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to go do it. Let's go do it right now. Yeah. Who the hell is that? Oh, no. It's like, it sounds like an important knock. Let's, you want to go, go check it out? Yeah. Gee, I can only wonder who that can be. Right behind you, Buzz. Ugh, let me catch up. Well, it's time for us to find out who this is. Hmm, alright, what's this? Well, hello, Buzz and Blue Toad. It's been quite a bit since we've met, hasn't it? Wait a minute, you look familiar. Aren't you that guy that forced us to cover a Mega Man 8 role master? Well, yes, that was me, and I'm here to negotiate a deal with you two that can join our franchises together and make us big profit. Uh, yeah, we just want to talk about Rollout Masters, and we don't really care about making money, so if you want our show us to join together, you have to make it a good deal. Maybe this will change your mind. I'll do half the editing for your episodes, I'll be advertising your new episodes via trailers or merchandise attached to it, and, best of all, I will cover the bad Rollout Masters for y'all so I don't have to do it. Hmm, doing half of the editing for us for every new episode and covering every bad role master so we don't have to do it? Sounds like a good deal to me. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. So if we agree to this and we end up having a falling out later, does that mean we have to have a legal battle just to get the rights of our show back or not? Don't worry, you two. You two will still have the rights to your show after the deal is made. Anyways, so, what you say? A deal? Alright, I'm convinced. Deal. And congrats, our shows have become one. Blizzardman is an ice type brawl master and he holds the title of the Master of Snow. As for Blizzardman himself, he represents the country Canada and his design looks pretty goofy for a brawl master that's supposed to represent Canada, but his design is the good kind of goofy instead of the awful kind. As for his stage, his stage takes place in a snowy mountain area. His stage starts with three rollers enemies who will charge an attack and throw it at you. This part also has a propeller eye. The propeller eyes will slowly chase after you and they will use their shell to block your shots. Like the mentals, you can only kill them when their shell is open. Afterwards, you have to jump across explosive platforms with a 3 second time limit and you have to deal with two propeller eyes and two techs. The techs will walk under ceilings and if you get close to them, they will shoot projectiles underneath them. Shortly after, there's a long section where you have to deal with six curlingers which will slide across the ground at a somewhat fast pace and if they hit a wall, they will slide backwards. On top of that, there's also shield attackers which will move back and forth pretty quickly and you have to kill them from the back because your Mega Buster can't destroy their shields. After you get past that somewhat annoying section, you'll fight the Squirtle which will shoot ice cubes and will also shoot homing missiles at you. After you dispose of the first Squirtle, there's a submarine section that moves up and down that also has spikes on the top as well as some on the bottom. On the top of the submarine, you have to deal with three cannon gels which will shoot projectiles at you. After you get off of the submarine, you have to jump across some explosive platforms as well as fight another squid on. After you get past both of those, you have to jump across some explosive platforms. Afterwards, you'll make it to Blizzard Man himself, who is ridiculously easy. Blizzard Man will ski in place and when he does, he'll shoot four snowflakes at you, which is ridiculously easy to dodge. He'll also roll across the room, which is also ridiculously easy to dodge. While he's rolling around, you can't damage him with your Mega Buster. As for his weapon, the Blizzard Attack, it's lame. The Blizzard Attack will shoot four snowflakes at an enemy, which is pretty weak and it has a slow start. Honestly, I never use this weapon unless a boss is weak against it, and it's severely outclassed compared to the other weapons in Mega Man 6, like the Silver Tomahawk or the Flame Blast. As for his weakness, Blizzard Man is weak against the Flame Blast. Lastly, Blizzard Man is in one of the castles on the Raw Museum in Mega Man 7's middle stage. Overall, Blizzard Man is a decent Royal Master who has a goofy design, a fun stage, an easy boss fight, and a lame weapon. The Royal Master rating is a 5.5 out of 10. Next time, we'll cover the last of the original six Royal Masters with Elect Man from Mega Man 1. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anyways, peace out.